Hi, in this training video I'm just going to go across a couple of other basics that may not have been uh, mentioned about where you're going to find certain things. So in the last video we went through uh, liking, commenting and sharing on various things on Facebook. Okay, and what we're going to do here is just but basically just to show you what what's going to happen when these people start getting in contact with you. Okay, because people inevitably will. If you're adding value to other people by commenting on people's pages etc etc you know you're going to create interest and people are going to want to know a bit more about you okay so what will happen here in this section up here okay if someone adds you as a friend okay this little people sign is going to highlight and have a number next to it so if you have five friend requests it will highlight and have a little red number that says five okay same for messages in this message icon here and notifications okay we've already been through the notification settings there so you should be familiar with that messages as well okay and people adding you now I won't click into these because there could be some you know I'm not gonna I don't want to share other people's personal information as such um, but it's important to know on the messages okay when you click on messages okay you're gonna have things come up you're gonna have people that you're already friends with and requested messages now sometimes if people are contacting you because you've liked something on Brendan Bashar's page okay it might not necessarily come up in your main messages okay it might come up in your other messages so when you click on the messages here okay you will see message requests and recent okay make sure you click on the request as well every once in a while because it's like a spam folder basically as you would have in your email address okay so just double check that okay now on your personal profile we went through some settings in the second training video and it's just just to reiterate how important it is to be congruent with everything you're doing okay so you can see my photo here my my background cover okay and with your intro you can see that there's very despite the fact it's a public uh, a public or business um, profile you can see it's quite limited in the information that's been handed out so again you just want to make sure that in your settings okay which you can access here which we went through last time okay you want to make sure that they're as public as possible but again the information that you're handing out is as minimal as possible okay because you don't want everyone to know every, everything about you okay the key things to do here okay in your intro section okay make this as catchy as possible okay make make this so people you know want to contact you okay because before they send you a friend request they're going to have a look at your photo up here okay they're going to have a look at your banner okay and the more professional and consistent this looks the more friend requests you're going to have okay so at the intro you just want to make sure that it is to the point then represents what you do so for example mine is you can read here uh, you can succeed in life travel more for less and have your breakthrough moment connect with me very simple okay some people might read that and go well how can I travel more for less let's find out some people might go what do you mean by a breakthrough moment okay that's interesting let's connect and oh I want to succeed in life okay this guy already believes in me because he's saying that you can succeed in life okay and you've put a call to action so you've written there connect with me okay so it tells people come and connect with me okay so simple things like that it's incredible how a, a call to action is very very important okay if you're trying to interact with people and you're writing a post etc you know have a call to action like comment below or, or message me or something like that okay so many people don't do that that's such a valuable tip okay again you could just see here it shows you where I live shows you where I'm from uh, shows you that I have 44 followers okay um, this is my this is my main news feed here again we went through this last time okay this is just a bit of an update a little bit more juice a little bit more meat on the bones should we say about different things on your personal profile okay 
so yeah just a little scroll through you can see various different things okay various videos etc etc so it's all interesting stuff if you need to change any of it I'll just click on the about section here okay and again you can add in different you can add in different things you know your mobile number is important business mobile email address is important uh, again set up an email address if you want and you can connect various accounts okay so you can connect your Twitter account your Instagram account if you have one uh, and any other websites okay and your birthday as well again you can put in as much information as you want here or as little information as you want here now again I'd recommend you know putting in where you live where you're from okay because if you type in say for example Reading that's where I live and that's where I'm from you know you might find that a lot of people from Reading start connecting with you okay because the more information you provide Facebook the easier it makes your life possibly in the future okay especially when you get into Facebook advertising okay the amount of data that Facebook has okay is incredible we're going to go into that in a completely different training that's about Facebook ads okay so that's not for now this is just going for the very basics okay so you can see work in education yeah again I'll just put in that I was at, Univ at the University of Brighton places you've lived yeah Reading's my hometown that's where I live that's where I'm from and again with contact information again that's my mobile my email address um, now your Facebook here you can edit this section okay and have something that's relevant to you uh, we went through this in the last video but it's useful to know that you can do it in the about section okay change it make it something useful to you so if your name is well, Dave Smith you can put in Dave Smith 1955 you know, maybe that was the year you were born okay so again you can have that so it's relevant to yourself okay so you can change that don't go changing that too often change it once set it up once and you're done okay and again you can see websites and social links etc etc that I've put in okay so that's to my own website um, that's a link to a, a corp, different corporate website and that's my book store for my book so you can add all these in okay so if you've got network marketing sites sites where people can go to and buy products okay just put these on there because you, the more you connect with people you never know who's going to click on these okay and if you're not out there with this information you know you never know and all of this is working in the background behind you okay what's this set up once it's done again date of birth the year of birth you know again uh, what I'd recommend you know, with the date of birth is you can put your date of birth on there uh, with the year I put it to only me um, that's not necessarily to be public um, but you can put your birth date down that's absolutely fine no problem at all okay so I hope that booster training has helped I hope you found that very useful and in the next video I'll just be talking a little bit more about the different strategies that you can have in Facebook.